Now, why the hell can't I get this kind of night on Halloween? Nice fog, creepy looking all over the street. Damn. So me and Brooklyn um, are at CVS and we just got, um, I just left SOP to come and pick her up. Um, and so I figured I'd check CVS out because um, it's right next to um, where the dance studio is. So uh, check out what I found, Sharon. And, so they have and, three of those projectors. So I'm gonna grab two of them. Uh, um, I just wanna and test them out and two is better than uh, one. So uh, someone else will get a lucky one, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab two. And I'll uh, test them out, here's and I'll chocolate. vlog, and let you guys know how good they are. All right. And here's my chocolate. And here's Brooklyn's chocolate. So uh, at work, and I found some more of that styrofoam um, wall panel stuff. So um, I cut it down to size because I only have the bug today. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take it home and, and work on it this week. And I think uh, um, what I'm gonna make, I think this is gonna become that fireplace. Uh, so I'm gonna work on it on a new fireplace. A little bit better so I think this will become it it's just a little bit better um, quality it's it's nice and, and firm um, and it feels it, it just feels nice so I'm gonna go ahead and build that and, and uh, make that a fireplace this weekend so I'll uh, make sure I get all that in the vlog and and so you guys can see the progress on on that piece so um, yeah pretty cool it's been raining a lot out here so I haven't had a chance to get much done because everything I want to do needs me to be outside and bigger space but that's a project I can do this weekend inside the uh, inside the garage so that's all all right so this is way off topic but I'm a Denver Broncos fan and this is way too creepy this is reminding me a lot of the OJ chase unreal either way I hope he gets signed but that's just creepy it's raining so I'm gonna try to do this quick um, I got stuck right here I was building a just a little outdoor unit in this little cove that I have here. It's just you know nothing sits in besides Brooklyn's little cars and stuff. So um, I'm running out of space in the garage, so I figured I'd just build something outdoor next to my other haunt shed. Um, so I was just going to go with some PVC and some plastic around, and then I was going to do a uh, shower curtain for the front door entrance. So um, as you see, I got the structure basically built. I do need to put one more piece of PVC over there. You can see it right in the middle of the screen. Uh, where there's one missing on a crossbar. Um, it's going to be all just black plastic and then sh uh, shower door um, or shower curtain for the front. So um, that is the haunt shed. So foggers, monsters, props, most of it is in there. Everything else is inside the uh, inside the garage. So um, while I was here, I was going to kind of do a walkthrough of the backyard. Um, but it's starting to rain pretty hard, so I'm going to put that on hold for a minute, and I'll do it in just a second. All right, so the rain finally stopped for uh, for now. So um, while I'm here and in the backyard, I'm just going to go ahead and do a, a little walkthrough of what my plan is um, for the haunt through the backyard, the maze, all that stuff. So um, let me turn you around. Um, that fence there is where the gate's going to be. So um, though you'll enter there through the hell mouth, which actually... There's the Hellmouth, <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna have that. The storage will be open, and I'm gonna have somebody in there. I might put like a fence there and have them jump out, or a, like a I don't know werewolf. I don't know yet, um, but someone will definitely pop out of there. Um, this temporary uh, storage unit will be gone probably because you know all the Halloween stuff will be up, so that won't be in the way. Um, but the cornfield that I was talking about that I want to do, right? Um, well, if you see this, as you can tell, this is the uh, neglected side of the yard. Um, I don't farm or grow vegetables, so these things just grow crap in them uh, during the uh, during the winter. So um, that'll all die, I'll weed it all out later, and it'll just go away. But anyway, so this thing right here, that planter box is going to go away. I'm just going to knock that out, lay out all the dirt, get it all out of there, um, and then the corn maze is going to start right here at the entrance, in, and it's going to go throughout this whole part that I have covered with black plastic. So. That is um, just covered so that nothing grows there, no weeds or anything. Um, it's just there so it'll stay dirt. And then once I plant everything, um, probably in April-ish, I'm just gonna let corn grow here. Um, 
if you look over there you can see my backyard goes to the uh, basically to the to the wilderness out in the mountains um, it's very cool actually um, so you can see outside my fence it's just the mountains very cool and um, I was planning on having people have to walk by this fence and then be able to put somebody down here or just let them run around and scare the crap out of people so um, I thought that would be, be pretty cool um, so from there the maze is going to start right here um, and if you can see it's going to go throughout this whole grass area this little walkway um, the circular walkway is where the actors are going to be able to enter in and out I'm going to do the uh, I'm actually going to do pallets all the way through this to make the maze and then cover the top up with you know plastic um, but that's the only side they're going to be able to go in and out of is this way around. So that's where all the inners, the entrances and exits will be. And then they'll get to hang out up on the, uh, on the deck when they're not, you know, in the actual haunt. And they can run around through the deck to get to the other side to get more scares in. Um, but the haunt is going to go across all the grass. Um, there will be different rooms, probably five different rooms, um, in this area. Um, and then finishing... I also have this really cool tree. It's huge, and I was planning on hanging like a fake body out of it. Um, so yeah, and then over here, it's gonna be more maze, and this is where I was planning on doing my slider, so I can have my slider start over there by the uh, by the gate, and he can run in and slide in as the people come out, like right through here. They can slide through on this, uh, you know, on the cement here. Um, you guys like my hammock? It's pretty cool. Next to Brooklyn's little sandbox, but the hammock's pretty cool. I don't know. Sorry. Just random, randomly there. Um, and then the exit will be there. So the exit will go, they'll go out that. That's going to be a nice dark tunnel, probably black lit. Um, and that's where the exit will be. So yeah. So there's a lot of room. There's a lot of space for me to build here. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge to do it all by myself, but um, I think I'll be able to get it done. So I'm not too worried. I'm excited about it. Uh, I've got a lot of props. I've got my room ideas that I want to do. Um, so now it's just a matter of, of uh, you know, just waiting for all that to happen, acquiring all the pallets that I want to get. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Pretty exciting. Um, that's the project I wanted to finish this weekend, so I can start working on more stuff in my garage. Um, so the rain is kind of slowing me down um i need to get stuff out so i can keep building things so yep that's all for now so i um i'll try to check back this weekend with some more uh with some more vlogs and see you show you guys some building i want to get that fireplace done um this weekend so i'll be able to do that and i'm not sure what else i'll do um but as you can see the rain is here and it's yeah it's really screwing me up so ah damn rain messing up our haunt oh well all right guys i'll talk to you guys later